the cloud. Is that what you did? Okay, awesome. Thank you so much. Welcome everybody to our Rockstars July Mega Class. I cannot believe that it's already July. We have got some awesome recipes to share with you tonight, as we do every single month. Those of you who have never joined the Mega Class before, let me tell you, you're in for a treat, and you're going to want to put this class on your calendar every month. I would say at least nine or 10 months out of the year is the first Monday of the month. Every once in a while, a holiday falls on that, or we just can't do that. I will tell you, we do know in August, it is going to be on Monday, August 7th. So save the date, same place, same time on Monday, August 7th. So, uh, so what's going to happen tonight is you're going to watch three really fun cooking demos. And our cooking demos, we always try to highlight our July customer specials, which is really fun. And then at the end of the cooking demos, we're going to go through and share with you all of the exciting uh, specials and offers that we have in the month of July. And then we're going to do a raffle drawing. Now I've got some really exciting news for you guys tonight because for the first time ever, we're doing a special that our CEO, Cindy and Chai, has um, decided to activate just for this maker class. And it is free shipping starting right now. Right now, 5 p.m. Pacific time on all orders, $75 and higher, get free shipping. That offer ends tonight at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time. So it is literally to go with our mega class. So this is really exciting. So if you're watching tonight and you're like, oh my gosh, I know there's stuff on my wish list. I want to grab these July specials. Do not wait until the end of July. Grab them tonight because then you're going to be able to uh, get free shipping, okay? But at the very end of this, every single month, we do giveaway. And here's how you play. So you're a guest. Only guests can win. So consultants can't win. So you're going to put your name in the chat box. You're going to say first and last name, who you are, because that's how we know who wins and who goes in the drawing. And then the consultant that invited you, first and last name. Don't worry if you don't know how to spell our last names. Just guess. We'll know who it is. And then that's how we're going to be able to reach and get your address and so forth. So you must be present to win. So if you're on now, stay on till the end. If you're watching the recording, join us next month so that you can have that opportunity to win as well. So I am going to pass it off to my friend Tina, who's got an amazing recipe for you that has been around in the uh, kitchens of Bon Cook for many, many years because of our dear friend and fellow rock star, Nancy Grage. This is her very famous, very um, loved recipe. So Tina um, has made it for you guys tonight. She's gonna share it with you. So. Welcome, right. Tina, take it away. Thank you. All right, I'm so excited because this recipe I have not had before. I, every, a lot of the, my fellow consultants that have been around longer have had it. And so I've already baked some up and I, I keep looking at them and I cannot wait to taste them. So anyway, and the other thing about this is it's so easy. You are not going to believe how easy it is. So we're using our amazing twin tray. This is so fun. We did so many, we have done so many things with it since it came out last fall. I guess it was at the convention last year. Yeah, so it would have been last fall. And it's so fun because you can put these together and make different shapes. We make pumpkins during the fall <coughs> that you can do two different colors, like you could do a chocolate and a vanilla cake and then have it be two tiers of pretty color. So many things. We are doing a cheesy herby bread that is so easy. People say bread, but guess what? We're using the infamous canned biscuits, which I've already taken out of here. And it's just couldn't be easier. So we're going to start out with some cheese. And I made a couple already. And I'll tell you about those. I'm trying something different, which is not, if you've asked us for the recipe, you already have the recipe from your consultant. The two I made are from that. I'm trying something different. And I found this fun nacho and taco blend cheese. And it actually has a little bit of taco spice in it. So I think it's going to add some really fun flavor in the a uh, third way, and you the, that is the fun thing about this, is that you can go ahead and try all different combinations of cheese and our herb blends that you like, and it will come out different every time. All right, so I'm gonna sprinkle, the recipe calls for uh, uh, one to two cups of each of the cheeses. I'm gonna just get a nice layer on the bottom here. And then we're gonna take, with this one, I'm using our, I took French in high school, but I'm sure I'm not saying it correctly. Le 
Heinz herbs. I don't know if you pronounce the S or not. But the reason I'm choosing this one with the taco is it's got chives in it. It's got parsley, chervil, and uh, I think it just sounded good to go with the taco flavor. So I'm just sprinkling, calls for about a half a tablespoon in each layer in there. And then I'm gonna take the biscuits. And so we have our biscuits. This is what they look like when they come out of the can. And I'm just using our wonderful kitchen scissors here. And we're just gonna snip these in half and I've already done some of them. And then in this twin tray, we're gonna put that round side down because that's gonna fit into the round, just like that. And we're just gonna go all the way around with these like this. And, you, and they, we have to put them in there pretty tightly because there's eight biscuits and we're going to use them all. So you're, so you're going to uh, push these in and get them pretty close together all the way. And it's okay, it doesn't matter if you mush them up, but just um, keep going all the way around like so. And it's just going to bake up and be amazing. I can't wait to show you the finished product. And the thing is what, uh, Teresa said a minute ago is that we like to feature our specials and this twin tray is on special along with our cake server night which if someone could find me when I forgot to grab one of those and Teresa will tell you all about the price of that but it's a great great special and like I said this twin tray is so versatile you can do so many things with it perfect yes and I believe it's the cream colored one that comes with our special. And then we also have the black one. All right, look, I almost got them all in there pretty good. Wow. Yeah, isn't that easy fun? Easy. I know, it's so easy. All right, okay. one last one. I'm just shoving in there. There we go. And that's all there is to that. And then we're going to put another sprinkling of the herbs on here. So, just nice little healthy sprinkle. Here we go. And what we love about our herb blends, and those are also on a special offer, is that they're whole herbs, not the dust that you buy in the grocery store. They are amazing. We love all of them. All right, and then we're going to take more of this cheese and just sprinkle it around on here. So oh, easy. And believe it or not, I mean, this is it. Now we are going to put, I'm only doing one for demo, and then I'm going to show you the two we already made. This is going to go in a 400 degree oven, and I actually did do it for 25 minutes, and they came out. The recipe says 30, so it's really going to depend on your oven. I would set my timer for 25 minutes and check and see how, you, you'll see how dark ours got, and they're just absolutely beautiful. Okay, so that's a nice healthy topping like so. And then what I like to do is get all this extra cheese that you drop off of here so that's not gonna cook onto your sheet. Right. See, I dropped some in the middle. So be sure and check that because otherwise then you're gonna have uh, cheese melted on there and it'll be a little more challenging to clean up than if you get that all off to start with. All right, so we'll just move that back over. Made a mess here for you, Teresa. It's okay, not a problem. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna go in the oven. And then let me show you these beautiful finished. Is that not absolutely gorgeous? All right, so this one is the um, pepper jack cheese with, and we used our zesty mint. So our zesty mint has a little zing to it, a little pepper in it. And so that this one's gonna be a little spicier for people that like the spice. And then this one is the Italian blend. And the Italian blend cheese is fun because it's got the mozzarella, the provolone, the Romano, Parmesan, Fontina, Asiago, Asiago, all kinds of good Italian cheeses. And then we used the rosemary, basil, thyme herb blend, which is obviously perfect to go with an Italian blend. So it's going to be a nice Italian herby flavor. All right, so let's flip these out. And I've got a platter here. And so we're just going to take the whole tray like that. Well, let's put this on top. Whole tray like that. Put these here. Hold on tightly. Flip over. 
And then this is just gonna come right off like so. Oh, these are still a little bit warm. Really? Wow, I, can, I baked those a while ago. They held their heat very oh nicely. Gosh, look at those. Oh, beautiful. So pretty. Oh my Wow, gosh. wow, wow. All right, so you see, this is the cheese. This is that Italian blend cheese. So see, it's a little whiter. And then this is the darker uh, blend that we use, the pepper jack. And look, oh my gosh. And you can just see all the herbs and everything. Can you see that really well? Oh my gosh, yeah, that's amazing. So, doesn't that look just beautiful? Wow. And then, check it out. I mean, yes. that's the pan with really hot soapy water that's going to be clean in 30 seconds. Yeah. So anyway, that is our cheesy bread, and we're going to cut one of these, see how it looks. The indentation. And you're not serving it with the top and all. Right. And the yes. indentations are perfect for cutting. They are. Look at that. So oh, just going to slice perfect. right down here. Oh, my gosh. This is so beautiful. Oh, oh, my gosh. Let's take a look. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, smells so good. And then we have our beautiful tamponades that are also on special, which Teresa will tell you about. There's a tomato, and I think the tomato is going to go beautifully with the Italian one. And then we have the olive, which I think could go with either one because I love olives. And then we have the artichoke. So those three wonderful tamponades. Oh my gosh, I actually think they'd all be good on both well, artichoke <laughs> on the on yeah. the um, yeah one with the Mexican cheese would be really well good. that would yeah that would be yum. so anyway there you have it cheesy herby bread actually three ways but two ways like the recipe says all right so I'm gonna kick it over to my friend in Texas Lauren for a fun recipe take it away hello everyone from very hot Texas <laughs> so. I'm excited that tonight I get to uh, feature the customer special called Beat the Heat because that's a perfect thing here because it's almost 100 degrees and I don't feel like turning on my stove. So this actually will be done in the microwave. And tonight I am making chicken lettuce wraps in the microwave. It's amazing. So I get a fun one tonight because I get to use all my favorite gadgets. The first one is our Eco Chop. So as you're not familiar with our Eco Chop, um, it's called an Eco Chop because it doesn't require any electricity or any battery power, just good old fashioned arm work. And it has this little basin here and then it has um, the blades here, which I'll just take this out right here. And um, it has the two blades, you just pop it in here. All right, and then the recipe calls for um, a medium sweet onion um, chopped in the Eco Chop. So I'm just gonna pop it in here. And if your pieces are a little big, you might wanna just help it out. I'm using our um, cake server knife, which is safe to use on our products, has a serrated bottom. So it actually cuts things really well. And I'm on the roll pack. And I'm just gonna give it one little chop just to help it along. And it's here in big chunks there. So I'm just gonna put my top on here, give it a couple of pulls if it's too loud. So hold on one second. I'm just gonna give it about seven, eight pulls. All right. Perfect. All right. No Tammy Faye Baker eyes for me tonight because it's not going to go all dripping down my face on so mascara, which usually happens whenever I am cutting my onions. I don't know what it is with me and onions, but we have a problem together. <laughs> then the recipe calls for some garlic and another little gadget. Like I said, I get all the good ones tonight. This is our mini chopper. So I have two um, peeled garlic cloves in here. I'm just going to put the top on here. I'm going to give it a little turn. You can actually roll this along your counter too, but if you give it a little zipping up here, and voila, get this top off here. Here we go. Look, I have beautifully chopped garlic. All right, another thing. So um, I know when I chopped garlic, my hands smell terrible. And Valerie Bertinelli said on one of her shows that you can wash your hands and then touch your faucet and it goes away. But I love Valerie. That did not work for me. So if that works for you, please let me know. <laughs> it did not work for me. So I love using this so my hands don't get too smelly. So tonight we're also featuring our medium round mold and our octagonal bond mat. So normally, um, if you're familiar with our bond cook products, our products go on the perforated baking sheet and they go into the oven. But tonight, because I'm using the microwave, we're not going to use a perforated baking sheet, of course. I'm just using a dinner plate, just a regular old dinner plate. I've got my medium round mold on here and the recipe calls for step number one is adding my onions to my medium round mold. 
Um, the Beat the Heat also comes with a set of three cool spatulas. Red, green, and blue. All right. So I'm just going to use this one. I'm going to put my onions in here. All right, super easy. I'm going to add my garlic, which smells amazing, but I'm not touching it. My hands don't smell like garlic all night long. All right, and then it calls for um, a tablespoon of our French pantry roasted garlic oil. So we have several different oils that you can choose from. They're infused, they are delicious. They come from California. And I'm going to just put a tablespoon in here. All right, and I'm just gonna give it a little um, mix here with my spatula. All right, it's very simple. I mean, step one could not get any easier than that. I'm gonna put the octagonal bond mat on top, like so. Pop it into my microwave for two minutes. So don't go anywhere. I'm just, my microwave is on this side. So hang with me. I'll be right back. Going in for two minutes. And the cool thing about our products, especially when you put them in the microwave, um, you know, your plate will get hot to the touch, obviously, but our Bonco products do not get hot to the touch. So it's really great if you are um, using the round mold to, let's say, steam some veggies. Um, my husband is on a kick now where he just loves steamed broccoli. Yeah, it's so easy. So I literally just get some broccoli, rinse it off with some water, chop it here on the roll pat with my cake server knife into little pieces, put it back into the round mold. Sometimes I add some salt, sometimes I don't. Put the lid on it, pop it into my microwave for three minutes, perfectly cooked and steamed broccoli. Nice and bright and green. You can add some butter, or you can add some of our oils. It's really, really delicious. Another use for the round mold and the octagonal bond mat is, I think I make a, a batch of jasmine rice every single week because then I have it for like fried rice later on or just making it in different ways. Sometimes I'll toss it into a cold salad. And so with the jasmine rice, all you need is like one cup of jasmine rice to two cups of liquid. I like to use broth, put it into the medium round mold, put the bond mat on top again, pop it into the microwave for about 13 minutes in my microwave, perfect um, rice every single time. And what's great about that is, you know, when you do it on your stove, sometimes it foams up and overflows and gets all over the place. And then like a good layer of rice is stuck to your pot. It comes up perfect every single time. Um, I've done risotto in my microwave in the round mold. I've done different vegetables, quinoa, farro. It's extremely versatile. So um, obviously you'll see, you can use it in your oven. You can use it in the freezer. You can use it in a toaster oven. Um, so our products go from uh, different different uses, however you want to use it. You can roast your vegetables. You can, um, we got eight seconds left. So hold on. I'll be right back because wait, there's more. We're almost there. Okay. So I'm just going to use a towel because my plate is hot. But actually it's not too bad. But my, um, my bond mat is not hot to the touch. Not at all. But you do want to be very careful whenever you're using this combination because it's kind of nicknamed for these two products is the steamer set. So this has definitely got some steam. So you want to open away from your face so that you don't get a facial. But okay, so that is step one. I've got my translucent onions, my garlic, and my oil. To this, I'm going to add um, some ground chicken, a pound of ground chicken. And I'm just going to kind of use... Um, this one here, I'm just gonna break it up just a little to get it into some smaller pieces. And after it cooks, I'll do this again, just to get it so it's kind of like bite size and perfect. I'll just mix this up a little bit and it goes back into the microwave for another two minutes. I'm telling you, this is like such an easy recipe. Bon mat goes back on top, place not too hot yet. So hold on, I'll be right back for another two minutes. I feel like I'm in a commercial. Back in two and two. Maybe I'm showing my age. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? I think that was from uh, the Love Connection with Chuck Woolery back in two and two. All right. Anyway, <laughs> so I digress. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we have a bunch of really, really great ingredients that I'm adding to this when it comes out. I'm going to add some of our roasted garlic and chai for our herb blends. I know Tina was speaking about it before, but our herb blends are amazing. I don't know if you can see, but it almost looks like 
loose tea. So it's not that pulverized stuff that you get in the supermarket that once upon a time was an herb. Uh, you can actually see beautiful pieces of garlic and chives. To this recipe, I'm also going to add um, some soy sauce, some poison sauce, some rice wine vinegar, some water chestnuts. So I just opened up my can of water chestnuts. I'm from Jersey, water. Water, water chestnuts, water, I don't know. Anyway, uh, water chestnuts. I actually chopped them in my Eco Chop. Again, another use for the Eco Chop. Uh, to this, I'll also add some ginger that um, I used our Le Petit grater. So if you're not familiar with ginger, it kind of comes in this interesting shape. You can find it in your produce section. It has amazing um, taste, it's very spicy. And all you basically do with the Le Petit grater is um, you can take this top off and switch it around and it kind of acts like a catch-all. So you can see that little space there. So that when you take your, um, your ginger and you wanna just uh, gently with a knife or a spoon, just kind of remove the, um, the skin that's on here and just get to the, the beautiful ginger itself. So when you scrape it, right? When you grate it, you can see it's all kind of catching down here in the bottom. So it doesn't go all over the place. Um, and it makes it really easy for zesting lemons or limes. And so I have it here. Um, and these are all our cute little pinch bowls that come in a set of four, the four different colors. Just hold on one second, I'll be right back. And I know the plate's going to be hot this time. So hold on. Almost there. Okay. Once again, I'm gonna open it away from my face. And now we have the chicken and the onions and the garlic and the oil. So the chicken is not 100% done. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix it up a little bit here and break it up into some pieces again. And to this, I'm adding all of these ingredients that I just mentioned. And then it goes into the oven or the microwave for about four minutes. And I made this the other night for my husband and he, he hasn't stopped talking about it. <laughs> he's, he's so excited about having this again for dinner. Um, He's like, I cannot believe that you made this in the microwave and it tastes, it tastes like it came from a restaurant. It's that good and it's that easy. But thank you, Tina, for this wonderful rendition of this recipe. So again, to this, I'm going to add um, three tablespoons of soy sauce. You can use um, low sodium. I forgot to get low sodium. Um, three tablespoons of poison. And again, you can find all of these things and like the... Um, Asian section of your supermarket, or sometimes it's under the international section. I've got some rice wine vinegar. I have some fresh ginger, where I use my Le Petit grater. I'm gonna add the water chestnuts, which I thought, they don't have much flavor on their own, but when you put it in this, they are fantastic. Plus they add a nice little uh, crunch, which I really like. All right, then I'm going to add, um, some of the herbs, a tablespoon of the herbs, so just put that in here. I'm going to add some uh, green onion that I sliced kind of on the diagonal to make it look really pretty. I'm gonna add a pinch of salt, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper using our pepper rally pepper mill. I told you I got all the good gadgets tonight. Um, five peppers from all over the world, they all have a different taste and a different aroma. And I'm just gonna give it a couple turns. Let me make sure I didn't forget any of my ingredients. I think there's one more, two more. All right, I'm going to add some grated carrots for a pop of color and more crunch. And then just maybe a couple of shakes, one or two shakes of some sriracha, just for a little bit of a kick. Okay, perfect. Give it a stir. And then I'm gonna pop it into the microwave for four minutes. And Teresa's gonna come back to me so y'all don't have to sit here and listen to me talk for four minutes until this is done. Um, but I'm telling you, this is terrific. And I would totally make this for a dinner party um, as an appetizer. I would, um, I'm gonna have my daughter make it over in, and she's at uh, college. Actually, she just finished college, but this is something right up her alley. And um, 
it is absolutely delicious. So let me just give you a look. You see how pretty this looks? Look at that. Does that not look fantastic? So that's gonna go into my microwave for four minutes. I'm gonna send you back to Teresa and I'll come back and I'll show you how I make them into these beautiful lettuce cups. All right, back to you, Teresa. Awesome, thank you, Lauren. That looks amazing. I have to listen to the for four minutes. You're very entertained. Okay, so my good friend Rhonda, she just, she's been here helping behind the scenes and I just asked her last minute to help me in front of the camera. So, uh, but the good news is she's been my friend for a long time. So uh, we don't even have to plan. We just follow each other's lead easily. So I'm so excited tonight to share with you how to make an ice cream cake. So my family has been making these for years. And I just want to tell you a little backstory on um, how I even started making these. So my oldest son has some severe food allergies, peanuts, tree, nut, tree nuts. Um, and then and my middle son for years and years had a dairy allergy. And so we literally, you could not go and buy an ice cream cake. There was no way it was going to be safe for either of my boys, but my boys felt like they were missing out. So then I started making ice cream cakes at home and we discovered it was way more affordable than the local ice cream stock <laughs> shop where you get ice cream cake. And you can customize it to make whatever your family desires. So we make them all the time now, every birthday. And um, my husband's birthday is coming up on Saturday. So I've got a finished product I'm going to share with my friends tonight and share with you guys. And then we're actually starting his birthday cake early, which is kind of fun. <laughs> so um, so I'm excited tonight. Uh, we, I'm making everything in the medium round mold. This is my, my, the large round used to be my favorite. I don't know how you feel about this, Rhonda, but... I used to love this large round mold because I could fit as much in it. But then as my boys got older, we would put more and more and more layers. And then I would be putting two large rounds together. Mm -hmm. And the large round mold, although it's fantastic, has that three quart capacity, it the sides are not exact on the bottom exactly. and the top. Right? And this is the, the specific nine inch exactly. cake size. I'm so glad you brought that up because it is for the, all those cake makers out there. This is the nine inch. So it's the medium round. So even if you already own one, you're going to want to get a second one when it's on sale this month because this is when you're going to want two of whether you're doing two cake layers or like my family, you're going to pile up a couple different layers of ice cream cake. So, so uh, Chance requested a brownie instead of cake. So I went ahead this is half of a brownie mix because the other half was baked in my daisy mold, which I'm going to show you that finished product in a minute. Um, and so they were baked side by side on the large baking sheet. And then once they cooled completely, I put them in the freezer. So this is solid, um, but I'm going to leave it in there because we're going to layer it on top. So then the next step to the ice cream cake is you want to set your ice cream out for a half an hour before you're going to start building your layers. Now, if I'm going to go for being perfect, which in some areas of life, I do that, as Rhonda knows. <laughs> but then there's some areas of life where I'm like, whatever, just throw it all in. So for this, and to the sake of time, we're going to be perfect. But if I was going perfect, what I would be doing, you guys, is I would be doing each layer and freezing it at least an hour or two between each layer. Um, and in this case, I'm not doing that because I want to show you a couple different layers. So typically, so this right now is mint chocolate chip. That's my husband's favorite. And so this is my blender spatula and you can see that it's really soft. So again, this ice cream has been sitting out for a good half an hour. And then I did put it in the mixing bowl and I'll show you in a minute why I do that because you take it straight from the carton. It's not gonna spread this easily. So I will show you that in just a minute. But while we do that, I'm going to, we're gonna crush up some Oreos as a layer. But before I do that, we're going to, Rhonda's gonna help me make the ganache. So ganache is the easiest thing. And I remember um, Rhonda and I um, know this well because we've watched people over the years join our business or come to parties and they're like, ganache, it sounds so fancy, right? It's so easy, right, Rhonda? Um, so Rhonda and I used to make it on the stove top in like stainless pans that we used to sell, which are lovely, but we don't sell those anymore. And then this mini round mold came about and this is actually easier and faster, but I don't know about you. I used to, even after this, I would make it on the stove top because that's how I knew how to make it. What about you? you? Used to it. Right. You know, I have been starting to make myself do this. You know how you, you, you know about something, but because you don't get into it, right? You end up just kind of going back to same old. And this is a great trick. And especially when you're talking about in the summertime, you can still have your fun chocolate and not worry about doing the cooking on the cooktop, which I really like a lot. Oh my gosh, me too. And so we're doing, 
don't know about you, I like to do a full recipe of ganache, which is typically one cup of heavy cream to two cups of chocolate chips. So if you get a bag of chocolate chips, it's typically two cups. And so I do one cup of cream to twice as much chocolate. That's how you sure. remember the recipe. That's right. Twice of the good stuff, right? So if I'm gonna do that full recipe, I will do it more in my small round mold, which this is just fun to show you guys because the mini round we put in the microwave is, correct me if I'm wrong, 16 ounces. Yes. So it's two yes. full cups, right? 16 ounces. And then the small round is one quart, which would be double that. And the medium round is two quarts, which is double that. And then the large round is three quarts. So just to kind of give you a visual of that, but the full recipe we're going here, we're doing half recipe right now. And so um, what we're gonna do once that comes out in one second, I'm gonna let Rhonda grab that from the microwave. It was in for one minute in my microwave. Um, and so the next thing up is, well, Rhonda's pulling that out. Um, oh, did I spill it? That's my fault. I totally, it depends on how well the cream is here. We'll put the mess here. So that's my fault, not Rhonda's. It overspilled. And so maybe four to five seconds is better in your microwave. Um, but I forgot I was doing half a cup. And normally I do one cup. So, so I'm gonna let Rhonda do this. But what you're gonna do is with the hot cream, you're gonna add the chocolate. You're not gonna stir it. So she's just gonna add it. You're gonna watch her swirl it around and that's gonna melt. Well, I'm using our Eco Chop to chop Oreos, okay? So we're using mint Oreos. Like I said, my husband really likes mint ice cream. So the boys and I decided mint Oreos was the best uh, filling. See how she's swirling that around in there? I appreciate you doing that, Rhonda. So um, it's approximately one sleeve of Oreos. You can do a little more, a little less, but I want to show you the Eco Chop, okay? Uh, Tina, it looks like we've got somebody that needs to be admitted. You almost have to close your eyes because it's too nice to cry. I know, right? <laughs> exactly. So now I'm going to show you, like, you see how it kind of these little holes? It's because you have to get through those hard cookies, but it does. So just don't go gangbusters right away. Kind of pull slow. You know, I like to go crazy with my eating job, but just go slow to get it started. <laughs> no, you should. We were making whipped feta earlier, and I was like, can I please do that? Because I really just wanted to go out. So, so anyways, but this is really cool. And you can smell the mint. It's so good. Oh Look gosh. at what it just did to those Oreos, you guys. Okay, so then I'm going to put that on this layer, which is really fun. Now, again, if I was not doing this in live television, okay, I would be putting this layer um, in the freezer right now and then doing more later. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this octagonal bomb. This is really fun. Because you guys saw how it was covered. I don't know if you noticed that. But when I had it in the freezer, like, of course, you want to cover it in your freezer. But instead of using foil or saran wrap, I use a bond mat. And so I'm using that same bond mat to spread the oils around, which is great. And then to gently press them into the ice cream, because then they don't fall apart when you flip the cake over. Now, I love to do this. This could, if you wanted a, you know, pretty simple ice cream cake and you wanted to leave it brown, the ice cream cookie crumble, you push it into the ice cream like this and freeze it. That really becomes your bottom layer. You're gonna flip it out, right? So, but we're gonna put more ice cream. So that's fun, right? And so the ganache, if I'm putting an ice cream layer, I would not put that hot ganache in here. I'm not gonna do that. I just wanted to show it to you. We're going in a minute, Ron is gonna whip that up. And then we just let it cool at room temperature for a good hour, hour and a half. And once it's cool to room temperature, then I spread it on my ice cream cake. So you're not gonna see that part because it's gonna be hot. And it thickens as it cools. So that's, that's kind of nice. nice. Yes, okay. it does. You could even chill it and whip it. Oh my gosh. I love thing. that tip. And what of our guests is saying that Oreos come in a gluten free version? In case somebody do. needs to wow. be gluten free on that. I didn't know that. Yes, they do. And I'm really glad that that was brought up because that was honestly, um, mm. again, one of the reasons that you know, I said I started doing these because of my kids' food allergies. But it's been really fun because you're right. There's so many great things out there. You can get dairy-free right. ice cream. Right. You can get gluten-free everything. I mean, so really, <laughs> if you've got somebody with allergies, it's really a fun way mm -hmm. to do an ice cream. And if you're not a baker, you can still do this because you don't even need the brownie or the cake layer. You can just do ice cream. Right. You can all layers. You can do sherbet. I mean, it's just oh, so fun. It's, it is fun. Oh, our friend Michelle told me the other day that she likes to just take vanilla ice cream and whip it up with a with a hand mixer or the kitchen mixer with a few fruit. I need to slow down. Fruit puree. Mm -hmm. So like yes. strawberries or raspberries, yes. and then just pour the ice cream in the mold mm -hmm. and mold it. Isn't that fun? Or you can put a layer of caramel ice cream topping oh, in yes. between. Yes. Uh, fudge. I mean, there's just so many different. 
but so you, many. Products. You have to go look in your kids' group, but you know what's really fun is like go to Dairy Queen and look at their menu. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and go copy. Exactly. Exactly. And, and then you copy. It's so fun. It's <laughs> so what I'm doing now is the ice cream, even though it's been melted for 30 minutes, you know, like when you pull out the carton, you can see the outside is melted more than the inside. So I'm dumping it in the mixing bowl, then I can mix it up and stir it so that it's smooth when I go to spread it, okay? So now remember, in the directions, um, your consultant already sent you the recipes or she's going to send them. I didn't send them to my guests yet. I will send them, don't worry. But, oh, can somebody check that bread? Oh, it's probably fine, actually, I don't know how many minutes. This can smell the bread cooking. So, um, in the bottom of it, Oh, yes. Okay, that's what, I set a timer, but it was, um, I could smell it was cooking away. Okay, so um, so typically, so your recipe has very clear instruction. Oh, it's so yeah. pretty. Come over here, Rhonda. Let them see it. Let them That's see it. Good. There's the one that uh, Tina made. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so gorgeous. Perfect. Can you guys observe it? That? I know, yes. right? Okay, so then you can see I'm just stirring this up, and you can see that ice cream is nice and smooth now. Again, normally I'd put this in the freezer, it'd be nice and frozen, and I would do this next layer in about an hour. But it's okay, I'm gonna be gentle with it and it's not gonna to run together because of these cookies. And then um, once we, uh, this free, this is gonna set up and then in about an hour and a half, I'm gonna do that ganache and I'm gonna do another cookie layer on top of the ganache is what I'm gonna do. Yeah, she loves her husband. I do. <laughs> it's so cute, his mom was asking what cake I was gonna make for him and uh, Chance said, it's already in progress, mom. So um, his mom loves to hear what I'm making for her son, which I can understand. Someday I will do the same thing <laughs> to my boy's wife. So, but look how easy this is to spread. And you can see I'm like pushing it to the limit here, but you're gonna, um, I'll show you the next one here in a second. I'm gonna put this in the freezer. There's still room that I'm going to do once the ganache cools down enough, I'm gonna do Oreo cookies and the ganache is gonna be my final layer. So Rhonda, why don't you show, yeah. talk to them about that while I get the oh, okay. cake in and out. Okay. Uh, and if you haven't tried this already, I mean, hang on, but you're just starting at a very slow clip. And, you know, you're looking at it and you're thinking, oh my goodness, this doesn't look very good. <laughs> and then as you go, just, just be patient and you're just slowly incorporating that chocolate into that warm cream. And then you just go, go, go. And this becomes so shiny and smooth and creamy. It's wonderful. And you can add flavors in here too. If you like, there's just so many things you can do. I love it. Can, <laughs> and it's gorgeous. It's so good at that. I mean, it's a shiny. I, I'm hoping that you can see so how yummy. beautiful. Uh, you will never regret ever serving this on anything, hardly. <laughs> so true. So, tell you me go. about when you whip it, because I honestly don't. I know I've done it before, mm -hmm. but I don't like, do you let it come to room temperature like I do? Or do you whip it when it's warm or do you wait till it's cold? Oh, okay. Uh, yes, I chill it. Okay. In the fridge. Okay. And then and then when you whip it with the beaters and it's just, and then it's just lovely. It's awesome. I love that. Okay, so this ice cream cake. So this is the one that I did last night in the daisy mold and layered it all up. And then I store it just like this. You can, you can use it with the baking sheet or not. I had the baking sheet just to get it in and out when it wasn't solid. But now that it's solid, it can go in your freezer like that. Um, and then once you take it out, like this is the cool thing, cake I'm making for chance. I can leave it in that mold if I want. I can leave it all week. But I also, if I want to use my mold for something else, I have multiples, you may not, then you can pull it out, wrap it up and save it and then serve it later. So it's not something that has to be served right away, which is really cool. So again, the bomb mat, and then here's my, Beautiful. I want you to see the, the ganache layer there, which you're not gonna see. And then um, we're gonna get it out. So now I want the daisy mold side up. You could totally pull it out. If it's round mold, you can turn whichever side you want up. But this is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put that on top and flip it over and you do peel it more than letting it fall out. But you're gonna see I'm gonna peel it. It's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen. Wow. But I want you to see now it is so pretty, but still, so, like look at this, you guys. You really don't need to decorate it, right? It's so pretty. But I'm gonna decorate it real quick because I want to show you a couple things with the pastry bag and tips. So um, so now I've already made the frosting, which is great. I get this question a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and just write it. It was for the bread. Okay, so the pastry bag comes like this. And the tips come separate as well. I don't know where my, all my tips oh. went. Are they sitting over there in the butler's pantry? Yeah. But okay, so I want to show you guys the tip. The bag comes without 
the tips. I have oh, they're perfect. So the bag, you can get the bag and the tips together. And we're going to give one of these away tonight. Um, or you can buy the bag separate. You want extra bags and you only want some tips. And then we have this pastry bag stand as well. So I want to show you this bag is already cut and has the tip in it because I always forget to put them in. There you go. But um, I already cut this one, okay? But this one is not cut, okay? So you can see how it's just a little bit longer. So then I want to tell you how do you take care of this? So we're going to cut this like that. And then I kind of know where to cut it. So I can like put the tip in and see if it's the right fit and well that was. But if you cut too narrow, um, then you just cut it again. If you cut too wide, there's nothing I can do about it. So um, I always do it. But just really go like um, half an inch, half an inch and get the right cut. But this is really good to be able to see. And so Cecile luckily cleaned the tip there. Thank you. Um, so then I'm gonna put the large star tip in there. This is a brand new one. So I'll use the used one. And these are so much fun to clean. Oh my gosh, that so makes great. sense. Yeah, how easy they are. Um, I love it. They are easy. Do you see the pastry bag stand? I fold the bag over top of it, the tip's in there, which is great. And then I can use both hands to fill it. And Rhonda is right. You can turn it inside out to clean it. So easy, it's not even funny. So we're not gonna do a ton of frosting on this one, um, but this is exactly how I would do it for, um, if Tracy, I was doing this for my question, home. if you used a half of a box of brownie. Yes, on so um, I used the brownie mix and half of it went in the daisy mold and half of it went in my medium round mold. So it was half. So I cooked them at the same time, kind of planning ahead. Um, I do have on the recipe that's typed up, you guys, I have it where you can do, um, you can do it all in one mold and then cut it in half so that you can have like two brownie layers if you want. I like to take two cakes, but you know, we like our frosting. So that's how I'm gonna decorate it. And then this is really cool because I put that in the freezer just <laughs> like that. And then I can serve it and I can cut it when it's frozen. So I'm gonna um, pass that to you okay. and I'm gonna come follow you to help find room in the freezer. But right. I am going to send it back to Lauren right now to finish her recipe. And then we'll come back to do uh, raffles and such. Oh, that was awesome. Hey guys, okay, I am back. It's been um, over four minutes. I had this in the microwave. And again, I'm gonna move it, I'm gonna open it away from my face and look how beautiful that is. It is so delicious. And to make it really pretty, I just got some really nice um, bib lettuce, like the butter lettuce. And I um, cleaned off a couple of the little leaves, the outer leaves, put a little bit of the mixture on top. And um, for some of these, I added a little bit of peanuts, which adds another layer of crunch and a uh, texture. But then on these, because we have a great special on our aiolis, I added a dollop of the aioli on here because it is such a great blend. It'll make, excuse me, make it nice and creamy and uh, absolutely delicious. I am really excited about eating this for dinner, but how great would this be to, to serve to your guests? I think they'd be completely wowed. You don't need to go to the Cheesecake Factory when you can make it at home. So enjoy. Awesome, thank you so much. All right, I am going to come back over here so that I can tell you guys about some specials um, and we're gonna do the raffles. So before I forget, um, my friend Tina is helping me with the raffles. If you already put your name in the chat box um, as a guest and who invited you, then you're good to go. If for some reason you don't have that name in the box yet, make sure you do that so that we can get you in the raffle drawing that we're gonna go do here pretty soon. And then Tina, on the corner of that table there, I've got our raffle prizes so we can give them a visual. So I am going to go ahead. I've got my specials up here and I just want to make sure I've got the right screen for you guys um, so that I can share this my screen with you. And then we will go to that. So uh, Dana, do we have any questions while I'm trying to find these awesome specials? I think we got a lot of them covered. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dana. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and see. Oh my gosh, it's loading. I hit a wrong button and there's too many things on the screen. Okay, so can everybody see my Bond Cook Celebrate Summer host drawings? So let's 
somebody else. Yep. Awesome. Thank you, whoever that was. I appreciate that because I want to make sure that you guys can see this because this is incredible. So in the month of July, and it's the entire month. So if you guys are watching this as a um, replay, I'm going to zoom out so you guys can see the whole thing. If you're watching this as a replay, you guys are going to be so excited to know that you can take advantage of this later too. So I am going to, sorry, I changed my sizing right here but let me make this so small. So celebrate summer host drawings. So these are for our hosts only, not for consultants. So what is a host? A host is somebody who gathers her friends or his friends together, whether in person or virtually, and um, has uh, friends that are placing orders under the class. You have to have a qualifying class of $400 in orders or more to be entered into the drawing. But if, this is gonna be huge, you guys. So the host, as a host, I'm going to show you what those rewards are because we have enhanced rewards too. This Celebrate Summer Host Drawing is absolutely a bonus. We rarely ever do. This is huge. So what are they trying to do with this bonus? They're trying to um, get more people willing to host. So when we do this mega class, we're the host, right? And so what we want is we want you guys to host. Whether you open your kitchen virtually or in person, we want you to gather some friends and introduce them to Bond Cook. And as a thank you for doing that, we have some amazing host rewards, and then we have these bonuses. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the bond rewards right now, because these are ones that, um, these are mainly our regular rewards with a little bonus, and then the host summer drawing is another one. So in the month of July, you host the class, you can gather some friends and just share catalogs and have them order online, and that counts as a party. But really, we encourage you to get them together and share the love of bond cook in person, share the recipes like we're sharing with you tonight and let your friends enjoy and experience these products firsthand, right? So when you have a qualifying party of 400 in order, that means you invite your friends and together collectively, they spend $400. It can be four people that do that. It can be one person that does that. It can be 10 people that do that. But $400 and you as the host are gonna get $80 in free shopping credit. You can buy whatever you want, for free up to $80, which is really exciting. And then that's what I'm saying for each customer that orders. So let's say you have four customers that order $100 each. That is when you get into this drawing and you get four entries into this Celebrate Summer Drawing. Okay, so do you understand? So all of our hosts, we are spoiling you like mad this month. So it just stacks on you guys. So not only if you have a $600 class, 120 free, an $800 class, 160 free. You can see that's 20% of the sales. Now, you guys, you jump up to a $1,200 Bon Elite level class and you are going to get $360 in free shopping. Now, you can use that all yourself and you can get all kinds of stuff to stock your kitchen or you can do Christmas shopping in July. I can't tell you how often I used to do that when I was new and everybody in my family and friend circles didn't have these products yet and I would self post and I would get product for free and save it for Christmas. So you want to do some free gift shopping for friends and family or for yourself, um, have a class. A $1,200 Bon Elite class is pretty easy to do, you guys. The average customer in Bon Cook spends $120. Now, if you're a brand new customer, you're going to spend a little more than that. A regular customer, they're going to be right around that, maybe even closer to 100, just depends on what they're getting. But you can see with that number, you've got 10 to 12 buying guests. You're going to easily get there. So. Remember what happens if you have 10 to 12 buying guests, you also are going to get 10 to 12 entries into this Celebrate Summer Post drawing, okay? So if I haven't sold it to you yet, this is the month. Reach out to your consultant and set up a cooking class, okay? So I know for myself and many other consultants on our amazing Rockstar team, um, we love to do classes in our own home. You can invite your friends to our kitchen. Um, you do that all the time when we do it virtually, right? but even in person. So reach out to your consultant. If they live close enough to you, they can do that. But we love to go into your home. So if you have a home, um, you love to have people over and then let us come to your home and cook for your friends there. The summertime is really fun because I have a lot of uh, customers and hosts who maybe don't have a big open kitchen. Um, they might have a smaller kitchen, but they have a great outdoor space. Guess what? We can do an outdoor class. How fun is that when the weather's nice? Yes, you can sit outside sip some wine or lemonade, the beverage of choice with your friends and enjoy an at-home cooking show. So think about that. Reach out to your consultants and look at the date. Don't wait for August, you guys. July is the month to do it because we have all of these bonuses. Pretty incredible. So now if you're sitting there 
and you're a customer and you're like, okay, well, I can't fit it in this month. I don't have enough friends, which everybody says that, but you have plenty of friends. I know you do. Um, we have specials for you as well. So we've got these amazing July customer specials, which you're going to see. We highlighted these tonight. So my favorite is this Beat the Heat. So this one, you guys, you can see there's an ice cream cake pictured right there. And we showed you the ice cream cake that I'm making tonight. Uh, we showed you the um, lettuce wraps in here. And so there are so many uses for this year round, but especially in the summertime. So this Beat the Heat special is going to be $65 and it's going to include that medium round mold, the octagonal bond mat, and the set of three spatulas for only $65, regularly priced 82. So that's a great saving. Now, remember to get that free shipping unlocked, you need to spend 75. So you can get the Beat the Heat and then add on the heat resistant spatula. Add on a signature spatula. Add on, we've got lots of $10 items you can add on to get that free shipping. So look at that. Um, the next special, which Tina highlighted so well with that amazing bread, double the fun. This is a really fun one. This is one. You could also do an ice cream cake in. This would be really fun for an ice cream cake. Um, this is really exciting because that tray alone is normally $66. You can get it in the month of July, $60 and includes that cake serving right. So it's regularly priced $79 for those two items. You're going to get it for $60. So that's a great savings as well. And then serve up summer. This is really fun because you get to chew. You get your choice of one tapenade. You get your choice of one aioli. You get your choice um, You get uh, included in there is a set of four pinch bowls and this set of four jar spins. Those are awesome, you guys, whether you're doing prep work or um, I love it when my husband, I'm up late working or just doing something and I need a little treat and I'll ask for chocolate chips and he puts a few chocolate chips in a pinch bowl. <laughs> and I laugh at it because I, he knows I'm limiting myself. It's not him doing it, but it's so great. And um, my friend Carrie, when her kids were little, I guarantee this doesn't fly anymore since her daughter's taller than she is. But when her kids were little, she used to give them ice cream in the pinch bowls and that was their treat. Um, but it also is great for um, food prep, which is awesome for recipes as Ron, uh, not Rhonda, Rhonda was here with me. Lauren was showing you. And then also for, we have it on our table at home uh, for salt and herbs and stuff like that that you want. So great set there. Regular price on that bundle would be $61 and it's $45. So that's really exciting. Lots of great specials. So now if you're watching us tonight and you guys are like, wow, this group is a ton of fun. And I've watched them do these makeup classes before, and I want to be a part of that team. Guess what? This is the month to do that too. Because when you join our team, you can join the month of July for $35, you guys. I mean, really? That's crazy, okay? This is at our last convention. So fun. Um, we're coming up with a convention in one month, which is super exciting. Um, and so we'd love to have you join the best part of our bond community, our team. And you've got lots of options here. But the best part about this, you guys, is when you are a consultant, all those specials I just told you about, we can take advantage of those as well. So I can self-host and I can earn host rewards. I'm also earning commission at the same time. But the best part of our community is the family, that we share recipes together, we come together, we cook together, we travel together. Um, we do all kinds of fun things together. So if you're sitting there and I want to be a part of this community, reach out to the person that invited you here tonight um, and talk to them about the opportunity of joining our amazing team. So you can choose from this $35 bomb business starter, which includes your apron, your very own apron. Um, it includes just a sampling of catalogs because we've got a new one coming soon and some marketing materials. This is for the person that like when my friend Tina joined, she had everything under the sun and this kit would have been great for her because she really didn't need any more products. But if you're somebody who doesn't have any product yet and you really want to get some, then we have this amazing $75 business kit, which is really cool. It comes with a lot of great starter basics, the perfect baking sheet, the media bond mat, the mini muffin tray, the rectangular flexi pad, of course, the apron and the signature spatula. Also always free shipping. We've got marketing materials. And in July only we have this bonus of these amazing accessories, which is the heat resistant spatula, the set of three spatulas, and the cake server knife. So this is fantastic. Now, if you want to take it up another notch, we've got the $99 business kit, which the difference between that and the 75 is all of those same items with the addition to this amazing French pantry bundle, which is great. Um, if you don't have any of our French pantry items, then this, I would recommend going with this $99 kit. So um, reach out to the consultant that invited you. Uh, let us help answer your questions on anything that you're wanting, whether you're wanting to book your own class or you are wanting to um, get started in business or just shop 
with that free shipping tonight. So um, we have some prizes to give away. And there, I knew that you brought them. So that's fine. <laughs> okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and spin the wheel. And these are the prizes we decided to give away tonight. So we're giving away pastry bag, set of four tips, and a pastry bag stand. It's gonna go to one winner. And then the other winner is gonna get the square sovereign tray. We love the pastry bag stand and tips. These recently came back in stock. So we'd love to give this away. Um, and you guys saw us use that tonight. The square sovereign tray, the motivation behind this is this is a really fun one to do individual ice cream cakes or little ice cream sandwiches. Mm -hmm. So this is a really fun one for that. So that was our motivation. I love the fan of strawberry oh, with yeah. strawberry ice cream. And then you fan a strawberry on top when you serve it. Put it in beautiful. here. Put it in here. That's what I'm saying. Fan of strawberry and put it on top. So, it's so smart. And I just love it. Okay, so the first name that is going to win, spin, and come up on our wheel is going to pick the prize. So if you don't speak up, we're going to pick one for you. But be ready, listen for the name, and we're going to do this first one. So go ahead and spin that, Tina, and let's see. Drum roll. And our winner is... <laughs> Tiffany Rivera. I'm going to hold it up so they can see. Tiffany Rivera, you are our winner. Congratulations. <laughs> Tiffany, do you want the pastry bag decorating set or the square fabric? You can type in the chat or speak up. Dana, you want to let us know if she's typed in? Okay. Yeah. Oh, wait. Rivers. There you go. It might be Rivers. Oh, Perfect. Rivers. I, I, sorry. I, sorry, Tiffany. Wait, the, the A and the S got messed up. Rivers. You got it. So yes. which one would you like, Tiffany? The square or the pastry set? Okay, we're gonna spin the next name. By the time we spin it, oh, she wants the pastry, pastry set. Perfect. So this right. is for Tiffany. Okay, let's right. so go ahead and spin the next one. Right. And you're gonna right. take yeah, it off since she already won. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, there we and go. Then we're gonna All right, this. here we go. So remember, everybody wins when you host. You get all kinds of free stuff. So host your class this month. Libby, Libby Moore. Moore, congratulations, Libby. Libby. You are getting the square sovereign tray. That's so exciting. Okay, so thank you everybody for joining us. Please reach out to your consultant. Remember, if you want that free shipping, it only is good tonight. So it automatically happens. Go to your consultant's website. If you don't know it, reach out to him or her to get it. And shop tonight. Once your cart gets to $75, it automatically gives you free shipping. Big win. And then also reach out to get your class scheduled in the month of July or to find more information out about joining our team. So thank you to all of our presenters. Thank you, everyone, for joining. We'll see you next, next month, Monday, August 7th. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you.